I wanted to talk about getting payments, whether that is as a freelancer or an agency owner, getting paid and the stress and anxiety around not getting paid. This is something I've dealt with personally in the past, having been a freelancer, things like that. And I saw a tweet yesterday that made me think about this uh, and I get super anxious about this myself personally. Like you can get so anxious around when it's time to collect payment, client doesn't pay you on time. A lot of the times it's not that they're not planning to pay you, but maybe they're just taking their time or maybe whatever, whatever, whatever. And as a client, separate topic, it's good to pay promptly. Like that creates a lot of goodwill. If you've been in business for yourself for any length of time, you've had scenarios where you've not been paid. And it doesn't take very many of those to get to the point where you want to get paid on time and not getting paid is super annoying. I think that everybody should go on prepay. Everybody should get prepaid for work. This is something I've seen some tweets in, in the past couple of months. I don't have them pulled up, but uh, some people talking about this and talking about how they started to do it to really change things for them. It's the kind of thing that if you haven't done that, you might feel like, well, I can't do that. People, that's weird. No, no one's going to prepay me. That's not how business works. That's not how freelance works, right? Look into it. There are people that have done it. It can work. It is somewhat unique you know, in the, in the freelance world, in the consulting world, but you can do it. And, and the thing is, man, is like, if you're a freelance developer, let's say consultant of some kind, if you are being paid 30 days, net 30, whatever, net six, whatever terms you're being paid, you're in the business of financing them. You're essentially giving them a loan for whatever period of time that is. Right. And there's no good reason you should be in the business of financing. You know, it's a totally different business for lenders that are in the business of financing. They're really good at evaluating the risk and credit worthiness of people. They've got big legal teams to handle things, right? All of those things that make that type of a business work, you don't have. And it's a totally different skill set. It's a totally different business from what you do, which is, let's say, freelance development or whatever it is that you do. So you just shouldn't be in the business of financing people. Like, do all your work on a prepay basis, simplifies things greatly. Now, yes, of course, you, you got to be a certain stage in your career to pull this off, right? If you're day one as a freelancer, you're probably not there yet. And you need to take some time to get there but I'm talking to people that have been in the game for a while have been doing this for a while probably have a surplus of demand because in this industry if you're worth your salt you probably have a surplus of demand as it is and so you can kind of dictate terms to a certain extent set that expectation up front with your next client your next engagement hey by the way we're moving to prepay maybe even give them a little bit of a discount five percent discount right anything might help to reduce friction in that conversation if it's an existing client who knows whatever you don't have to give a discount just say hey we're gonna prepay um, and and maybe maybe even make it easy on them maybe say hey you're gonna prepay X amount I'll let you know as I'm billing you for it and if you want to get a refund for anything that hasn't been billed you can get a refund right there's probably even escrow options out there where you can have a third party that can escrow the money um, so they can feel good about it or whatnot but there's just no reason why you should be in the business of lending, right? Financing that client's cash flow just doesn't make any sense. And you're, you know, it's gonna reduce your stress levels considerably. Another variation on this as opposed to prepay is get a payment method on file where you can bill them. This is what I this is what I do, for example, with Commerce Hero, where they have a credit card on file or a bank account linked through ACH and you can you can charge them. So instead of sending them an invoice and waiting for payment, you go, here's the bill, we're gonna charge you in one business day, three business days, whatever, and then you charge them. Now that's not a perfect solution because cards can get declined, payments can get declined, and then again, you're chasing. So prepay is really the most solid solution, but the broader principle is think of ways that you can reduce your anxiety around collecting payments and just simplify the process. So yeah, that's pretty much it.